Financial hopeful Dr. Nkwasazana Lamini Zuma travelled across the country ensuring that her name is in the ballot come voting day. A seasoned veteran of the movement, Lamini Zuma was a key consideration for deputy presidency position under former president Thabo Mbeki at the Bulukwane elective conference. Now let's take a look at the profile for Dr. Nkwasazana Lamini Zuma. <laughs> Dr. Nkosasana Dlamini Zuma, the first woman hopeful for the ANC's top job to have her name on the ballot paper at an ANC elective conference. And she has certainly given her strongest contender, Deputy President Sir Ramaphosa, a run for his money. But the outcome of the tight race will be determined at this weekend's 54th ANC conference. Dlamini Zuma was born in KwaZulu Natal in 1949. A medical doctor by profession, she studied towards a Bachelor of Science degree at the University of Zululand before enrolling at the University of Natal, now UKZN, to pursue her medical degree. I think women themselves are changing that outlook. Lamini Zuma's political consciousness formally began in the 70s when she joined the underground structures of the ANC. In 1975, she served as the president of SASCO, then named Sasso. It wasn't long before her political activism attracted the attention of the brutal apartheid government. After countless incidents of harassment from the then government, she was forced to go into exile, where she further continued her studies at the University of Bristol while simultaneously serving as the chairperson of the ANC Youth Section in Britain. After occupying several leadership roles of the ANC in Britain between 1980 and 1985, Lamini Zuma was redeployed to take care of the medical needs of the organization. With the unbending of the ANC in 1990, she went back and joined its structures as part of the Women's League. Following the historic democratic election, Lamini Zuma was appointed the first black Minister of Health under the late former President Nelson Mandela. Lamini Zuma has served under all three democratic presidents of the Republic of South Africa. She was a Minister of Foreign Affairs in 1999 and then Home Affairs starting in 2009 until 2012. She then became the chairperson of the African Union Commission, the first ever woman leader to do so. She has various international accolades under her belt, including a Woman Who Makes a Difference Award in 2002. as she played her part in trying to fulfill the African continent's 2030 vision. In 2016, it was reported that Lamini Zuma would not be availing herself for a second term in the AU. Her name then emerged amongst party members as a possible successor to President Jacob Zuma, meaning that she would go head to head with the deputy president of the ANC, Cyril Ramaphosa. Lamini Zuma is one of the first women in the history of the ANC to get so close in the party's presidential race since the party's formation in 1912. With the Women's League behind her, Lamini Zuma traveled every corner of the country, spreading the message of radical economic transformation. Lamini Zuma's campaign has exhibited a strong presence nationwide. A bad is also being plagued by allegations. Her detractors believe she's been brought in as a proxy for President Jacob Zuma to allow him to preside over the party. She's also being accused of saying little about state capture and corruption. But her campaign has still managed to outshine almost all other contenders. Lamini Zuma's campaign formally concluded on Wednesday. We want to thank everyone. Whatever happens at the conference, we want to thank you. You have started making history. Well, as the ANC national elect.